Joseph Fielding Smith, the 10th president of the LDS Church, said that Mormonism must stand or fall on the story of Joseph Smith. He was either a prophet of God, or he was one of the biggest frauds this world has ever seen. There is no middle ground. The Bible clearly warns that there will be false prophets who will deceive many, and gives two simple tests to distinguish the true from the false. These tests are objective and do not involve praying or internal feelings. First, if they give even one false prophecy, then they are not sent from God, even if their other prophecies come true. So here is one example. In 1844, Joseph Smith prophesied that his son David would be a church president and king over Israel. David, however, was never even a member of the LDS Church, much less a president or king of anything. And there are dozens more false prophecies about the return of Christ, the building up of Zion, temples, and other cities, the destruction of the U.S. government and other enemies, and the fate of certain church members, etc. Mormon apologists have defenses for all of these, insisting that Smith never made a false prophecy, but also insisting that true prophets can make false prophecies. But even if one can accept the explanations for each of Smith's prophetic failures, there still remains the second biblical test of a prophet. False prophets lead people away from the true God. And this test is only possible if God preserved his revelation of who he is in the Bible. So here are some examples of how the prophet Joseph Smith led people to a very different God than did the prophets of the Bible. The biblical God has been God unchanged since eternity. The Mormon God used to be a man who worked his way up. The biblical God is spirit and has no physical body. The Mormon God has a physical body just like a man's. The biblical God is the only God anywhere and forever. The Mormon God is only one of an infinite regression of gods, and men can become gods after him. The biblical God is omnipresent. The Mormon God shares man's physical limit of one place at a time. The Bible says no man can see God the Father. Joseph Smith claimed that he had. The biblical God created all things by his own command. The Mormon God only reorganized pre-existing matter. So we must take Joseph Fielding Smith's challenge on the prophetic integrity of Joseph Smith seriously. Remember, right after Jesus warned people to beware of false prophets, he added that some people would call to him, Lord, Lord, thinking they know him. But Christ will reply, I never knew you, and they will not enter the kingdom of heaven.